water, the highly abrasive capabilities of which have been demonstrated in nature for centuries. For instance, the carving of the Grand Canyon, the deliberate and tedious leveling of mountain ranges, and the erosion of our precious farmlands. Imagine, if you will, speeding up this process thousands of times by forcing high-pressure water through a small orifice and aiming it at a given surface to be cut. This technology is not new to industries such as stone cutting or demolition. However, it is a new advancement in the arena of food processing. Water knife technology offers several benefits over conventional mechanical methods of cutting. No blades to be replaced or changed. No massive rejects due to metal fragments from broken blades. High-speed surface feeds in most cases. Fewer moving parts and less downtime. This video is intended as proof that this technology can be applied to food processing and has been successfully demonstrated in jalapeno peppers. The machine you are about to see is a prototype jalapeno pepper processor. The primary function of this system is to remove the stem and calyx from the top of the pepper in a manner that is virtually non-destructive to the fruit. The design criteria for this machine is to provide a means of handling bulk quantities of peppers, washing and conveying the peppers to each of the five process lines for stem and calyx removal without prior sorting for size and shape. The velocity of the peppers moving under the water knife in this case is 45 inches per second or one pepper processed in 55 milliseconds. The peppers are dumped into a hopper and belt fed to the separator. The peppers fall into the separator and are washed of any major debris such as dirt, rocks, and leaves. As the peppers float around in a counterclockwise fashion, they pass over specially designed funnels that form vortices that draw the peppers under the water surface and into feed tubes. The feed tubes connect the separator to each individual process conveyor. The peppers will travel down the conveyor to the first camera station. This camera station has multiple functions. It will check to see if there is actually a pepper in the nest or if there are multiple peppers in the nest. If a single pepper is detected, the orientation of the pepper is determined by the computer for stem and calyx removal. If multiple peppers are detected by the camera, no cut will be made and the multiple peppers in the nest will be rejected from the line at the proper reject station. Directly following the first camera station are the water knife stations. There are two water knives per process line. They work in conjunction with each other, alternating every other nest. For instance, the first water knife will cut the first nest, the second will cut the second, and the third will be cut by the first, etc. The water knives receive the coordinates from the computer, and the servo motors mounted on each water knife assembly will move the nozzles over the pepper and cut the stem and calyx from the pepper. After the water knife has cut the stem and calyx from the pepper, the stem and calyx must then be removed from the system. This is accomplished with a second camera station. This camera station is used for quality control purposes. It checks to see where the stem and calyx have fallen in the nest and gathers target information for the stem and calyx eject station. The stem and calyx eject station receives instructions from the computer after the second camera station has located the stem and calyx. The computer decides which of six air nozzles to activate to kick the stem and calyx out of the nest without disturbing the pepper. The air nozzle will actuate and blow the stem and calyx out of the nest up and into the reject chute. The rejected material will land on the scrap conveyor and be conveyed to a scrap tote. The next three stations on the process conveyors are the reject stations for coloration, indeterminate peppers, and multiple peppers. All three stations work on the same basic principle. The first camera station will decide if the peppers passing under it are in specification. If not, the computer will track the peppers down the conveyor and a blast of air will blow the peppers up and out of the process conveyor line at the appropriate reject station. The last station on the process conveyor is the dump station. This is the station where the processed peppers fall into the totes for further processing. All of the machine functions are monitored or controlled by the computers in the control room. The peppers may even be monitored visually as they pass under each camera and the computer places a cut line or a reject target line on each nest being processed. The system computers are 8486 IBM compatible systems operating at 25 megahertz. The computers are all equipped with custom built high speed asynchronous frame grabbers capable of processing one half a megabyte of information every 55 milliseconds. Efficiencies of up to 99% by count have been experienced with jalapeno peppers after sampling the finished product in the end totes. 
With a few modifications, the same principle can be applied to most any food product that requires cutting prior to packaging or subsequent operations. These may include, but are not limited to, corn, okra, carrots, mushrooms, celery, asparagus, radishes, scallions, rhubarb, fish, and shellfish. Even with today's environmental concerns and water conservation, this technology can be employed with a closed loop water system to keep water consumption to a minimum. Remember, Mother Nature has used water to sculpt and cut some of her finest creations. Shouldn't you consider water for your applications?